But being the kind and generous man that I am, <laughs> anybody that should choose to bring me the head of this boy, dead or alive. Or alive! Does King Richard know you're doing this? King Richard is hundreds of miles away fighting. I am in charge of this area. King Richard's good and just. Yeah. He oh, wouldn't yeah. rob us of all we had. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just be quiet. Where are you going? What? Oh, that's typical, that is. I never get the respect that I deserve. <laughs> anyway, once he sees what a wonderful job I've done in this area, he'll reward me. But it's not just you he's done, though, is it, boss? No, that's true. You're robbing all my friends as well. People that I hold closest and dearest to my heart. Have you got some friends then, boss? <laughs> Nail this proclamation up. We'll sit back and wait for the money to roll in. Money makes the world go around the world. Go around the world. Go around. Money makes the world go around. It makes the world go round. Too late. 
It's here as a pattern line. Mm. And I'd fry it up. <laughs> and you're an audience. <laughs> you are. And you've got an audience. <laughs> now, a lot of people nowadays, they sort of sit there on that. They're used to the television you see. They sit there on their hands and they keep their mouths closed. Now, I do shout at the television, but it's not quite the same thing. You see, but here, if you were to interact, that's a good word, isn't it? I've just thought of that. If you interact with us, we will be get better. Not a lot. <laughs> we will get better. Now, I mean, to show your appreciation of the talented things, what we're going to do, well, what I'm going to do, we could have a bit of gentle clapping. <laughs> Not as gentle as that. <laughs> become a modern style nowadays. Don't pick your nose while I'm talking to you. <laughs> it has become a style nowadays to go woo woo woo. <laughs> Sounds like a load of Indians. <laughs> Don't talk to her while I'm talking to you. What's your name? Not her, are you? <laughs> I don't know your name either, do I? So what's your name? Um. Mm. I'll learn all your names before you go tonight. Anyhow, <laughs> we got as far as whoop, whoop, whooping, didn't we? Yeah. Now, I've had a few ovations in my time. <laughs> oh, yes, I have! Every time I come on, <laughs> oh, every no, single solitary. 
very kind. Now, if, if by some chance, one of you don't obey me, that's a funny word, isn't it? If you don't obey, I'm coming out there to get you. And I've got some big girls back here who will help me. And don't forget, every time I come on, see you later.
pretty grin. He uses bits of goat. He mixes stale leftover flour with water from the moat. Marion's dumplings are very ow, sweet. Ow. She always tries to please. She has a lovely little smile. If you give one a squeeze. <laughs> Take your things off the table, folks. This very bad manners. But you know the old saying: shoes on the table, trouble in the stable. Mother, you forget yourself. I'm a very important man. No, don't be so silly. You're just my little naughty. Ah. I can remember when you was a baby, I used to call you my little naughty with a smelly body. <laughs> yes! Nobody's interested in that, are they? Not now that I'm a man of great power. Mm. Only until King Richard gets back. Oh, I'm sick of hearing about King Richard. He's hundreds of miles away fighting. Anyway. I'm in charge of this area, and once he sees what a marvellous job I've done, he'll reward me. Mm, I'm yes. not so sure about that. King Richard was always one for the common people. Yeah. So you'll be all right then, boss. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got any other little tales about the sheriff, Nelly? Oh, yes. He was so naughty when he was little, he used to pick bogeys out of his nose and flip them at his dad. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, you were very good at it. First class shot. Always had a runny nose, gave a whole new meaning to the song of Green's theme. <laughs> yes! Well, again, nobody's interested in that, are they? No. Well, I brought you together because I want to discuss my new plan. What plan, boss? My plan for getting past Robin Hood with all my money. Well, that'll be hard. He always seems to know when you'll be in the forest. Yeah, then he nicks the money off you and he gives it back to the villagers. But this time it will be different. How? Because this time I shall be wearing a disguise. Oh. Mm. What's a disguise? <laughs> it's where I go dressed as somebody else. Oh, how lovely, dear. Who are you going to be? No, I haven't decided yet. That's what I wanted to have a word with you about. Now, I was thinking of the Black Knight. <laughs> <laughs> The Black Knight is tall, handsome, and fearless. <laughs> and your point is? Well, you ain't tall, then you ain't, um... Yeah. Uh, yeah? Well, I don't know how to put this without hurting your feelings. Try. Mm. I can't think of the right words to say. You ain't handsome or fearless. That's what he's trying to say. <laughs> True. Mind you, he'd rob the Black Knight as soon as rob me. No, I need to go as someone that he won't rob. He never robs the poor, boss. I have a brilliant idea. He never robs the poor. Oh, he never robs women either, boss. I have another brilliant idea. He never robs women. Oh, Dottie, what a wonderful idea. Oh, I say, it's so wonderful, isn't it? So? He used to look so sweet in a frock. He hasn't worn a frock since you were five. It was so embarrassing. <laughs> I still wanted a little girl. Yes, well, that is my new plan then. I will go disguised as a lady. And because I am disguised as a lady, Robin Hood will let me pass. Uh, won't you be scared, Bob? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Not with you by my side. But Robin Hood knows us. He'll recognise us. Not with your makeup on. I? Yes, I have decided to make you two my lady companions. Oh, no, no, we do have two more little boys to dress as girls. Mother, I sometimes wonder about you. Wait, what's that noise? What noise, dear? Sorry, Sorry boss. boss. Not that noise. <laughs> no, it's something back here. Ah, what are you doing there? Oh, nothing. I, I was just seeing if there was any, uh... Mending needed doing to the uh, hangings. Hello, Nelly. How are you? Oh, I'm so <coughs> happy, dear. Naughty's just come up with his awfully clever plan of how to get all his money through Sherwood Forest. We are Robin Hood getting his hands on it. Be quiet, mother. Now, where have you been? 
Uh, I've just been to the village to give some food to the poor. I don't know why you waste your time with those smelly villagers. I mean, what have they got that I haven't? Well, they are kind, funny, interesting, honest, hard-working, and generally nice to be with in spite of the fact that they are so poor. Well, yes, yes, well, apart from that. I like them. What? Everybody, get out! Not you, man. Today is your lucky day. For today, I've decided to make you my wife. Over my dead body? Well, I hope it wouldn't come to that. <laughs> I wouldn't marry you if you were the last man alive. I know, you'd be killed in the rush. <laughs> you wouldn't dare ask me if King Richard was here. Oh, yes, that's right. You were always one of his favourites, weren't you? Well, he's not here to protect you now. Anyway, I only have one love, and that is... Yes? Well, it's someone you don't know. Good. I thought it was Robin Hood, I would throw you in the deepest, darkest, smelliest dungeon I could find, where you would share it with all the worms, rats, bats, and I would make sure that the guards would keep an extra close eye on you so that you couldn't leave the castle without my permission! <laughs> <laughs>
You all saw it, didn't you? Yes. yes. Have I mentioned it before? Only 50 or 60 <coughs> times. Who's counting? But you're always a winner, especially with that bear of Maid Marion. Well, that's very true, but you never know.
I mean, you don't want to go through the forest, not at this time of night. There's some strange people hanging about. So, I see. Anyway, I came here by myself. Ah, ah well, that were in the night. But now it's dark. What about the ghost of the Greenwood? Ah. I, I hadn't thought of that. Anyway, there's no such thing as a ghost, anyway. Well, you say that. But my friend, he saw it floating out of the green. And he came up to the blue board, and it went in, and he went up to the bar, and it said, Give me a double gin. <laughs> well, what did the innkeeper say? He said, he said, We don't serve spirits in here. <laughs>
up with the prize of Maid Marion before he can be captured. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Oh, 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 has that gone skeptic? Oh, it certainly has. Nellie Nottingham is the only person I know whose bite is stronger than a bar. What are we going to do about the archery contest? Robin's the best shot by far. Oh, I don't know. Percy Gold would have come in very handy. Well, it would do, but don't forget, when you get there, there'll be all the sheriff's men that they're waiting to capture you. Mm, who else do we know who is a really good archer? Ah. Well, I'm good with the quarter stuff, but I'm good with a sword. Yes, but that's no good. Somebody else will win and get the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. Unless, of course, there's somebody out there.
Is she married? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think that's illegal, is it? Well, if you are married, have you got a boyfriend? Well, you have. Is he very handsome? And what's his name?
Seeing as we can't give her one bag of sweets, I suppose we'd better give her two! Haven't got it. 
See, he used to have a pianist when he did that. I used to poke him with a stick and he used to play, you see. But now these technical minded people, they were. Yeah. Is this it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm used to better things. This voice of mine has been trained. Yes, but now it's gone back to the wild. <laughs>
true, but this year it'll be different. He's managed to elude us for five years in a row. But when we catch him, we'll throw him in the deepest, darkest dungeon we can find. Maid Marion will be forced to marry me, and I'll be filthy rich because there'll be nobody left to rob me! <laughs> will we be filthy rich too, boss? What? Well, if you get lots of money, we should get some of it. <laughs> Who told you that? Nobody? Exactly. That's what you are. Nobodies! I'm the Sheriff of Nottingham. I get all the money. You are nothing, and that's exactly what you'll get. <laughs> I don't think that's very nice. No, I mean neither. You know, he treats us worse than, than Robin Hood does. I oh, know. At least Robin gives the money back to the poor. We poor. Do, do you think Robin Hood would give us some money? Oh, I'm sure he would. Hey, when we pounce on him at the archery contest, we can ask him. That's a good idea. Nobody likes 
castle and all your land. He did indeed, sire. Well, it is with great pleasure that I return these to you. But I have one more command that you must obey. And what is that, sire? Why, to marry the Lady Marion. Oh! Come on, Dick, we do cheer up. Well, look, I know I should be happy. I mean, everything's turned out really well. But I still haven't got a name. I don't know why you're worried about your name. I think you're quite delightful just Ooh. the way you are. Delightful Digby! Delightful Digby? I like that. They like that a lot. Fight for your rights, and if you fear the cold at night, just wear nice warm green tights. <laughs> Me. <laughs> <laughs> now, but I mean, I'm not 
named everybody. I mean, it's Tracy who did the costumes. Yeah. And others, too numerous to mention, like the chairman, <laughs> who has been really excellent. But, but to get on with what I hope you will support us with in the future. Now, we go from here tonight. Now, this is our, our bit of fun that we do every sort of four or five years and occasionally rehearse. <laughs> but the next one we're doing a bog off. Now, this is unusual in theatre parlance. We're doing two plays for the price of one. You pay for one, you get the one free. But in between the two plays, you get your fish and chips. Ooh. Ah, very sophisticated stuff this is. <laughs> and we're going back to the Bowls Club in Burton Street. Street. We're going back to the Bowls Club where we've been before, where there's a bar. And really, if you bring your husband along and he don't like the place, well, he can sit in the corner and get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> then, after that, we go on to the quay to do Carmen. <laughs> now, it's not Carmen the Opera, even though it's the music it's by by Bizet and all the, the arias and the songs are all there. But there are bits in between where, you know, Carmen sings, I work in a cigar factory. And he says, oh, do you? <laughs> we don't have none of that. <laughs> and she says, I work in a car factory. He says, yes, sir, I do. It's said, just like an ordinary musical. But all Bizet's wonderful music is there. And I hope you'll come along and support us. We need support because the key charges Fortune! <laughs> Don't they charge us a fortune? Yes. yes! But they're very nice people. <laughs> anyway, you can go off and uh, see if you can find your cars. <laughs> I'm sure both of your cars will be there. <laughs> but if they're not, walk home carefully. Good night. <laughs>